if you want to go back to the information for the video, the arrow in the top left corner brings you back here. You can tap my movie, that's the title, delete that, and change the title. This project right here that you're looking at, this screen, this is your editable project. Your video is not completed yet. So you have to tap the share button in the middle. If you're logged into Facebook, you can tap Facebook and directly upload it there. YouTube, Vimeo, same thing. You can send it as in a message, in mail. You can send it to iTunes, which would be not the iTunes store online. It just sends it to the video app on your iPad. So if this was something you wanted students to be able to access from the iPad, that's where you could put it. They go to the video app, and there it is. If you want to get it off the iPad and you have a Dropbox account, if you swipe all the way over here and tap more and turn on the saved Dropbox and it starts out at the bottom, you can grab the three lines and move it to the top so it's the first option. You can do that and then tap done. So if you have a Dropbox account and you're trying to get the video off the iPad, you could save it to your Dropbox account. Or you can tap Save Video and then choose your export size. If you're exporting it because you're going to upload it somewhere or you're going to play it from your computer onto your smart board in large size, you're going to want to use the largest HD 1080p. If it's just going to stay on the iPad, maybe the HD 720 or the large would work. When you select like to email it or a message, it always makes it with the medium. So it's a smaller file size to send. I generally do 1080p. It's going to save it to the camera roll. Then I plug the iPad in and transfer it to the computer. So when you tap that, depending on how long the video is, it will export the video and then tell you that it has been saved to your photo library. If a window pops up that asks that iMovie wants to access your photos and then you can choose either don't allow or okay, you need to select OK, otherwise that step wouldn't work and you would get an error. Once you've created that video file and shared it, you can still go back in and edit the file, but you're not changing that video that you've created. So if you make edits, you're going to have to make a new video. Think of this that you can edit here. Think of this as batter or dough. Ooh, you taste it. Mm needs a little more sugar, a little too salty, whatever. So you can add that, you can edit that. Once you do this, it's like baking the dough. And the video file that's created, that's your final product. You can't edit that anymore. If you go and you taste your cookies later and you say, ooh, didn't have enough sugar, you can't just put sugar on your cookie. You have to go back and make new dough. You have to go back in and make your edits here in your dough. So you make your edits, then you can bake new cookies and save the video again.